Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a continuation of my liquid lipstick review series, which seems to be a never ending series because companies are always coming out with new liquid lipsticks. They seem to be on trend. Today is the requested brand of the Hourglass Opaque Rouge Liquid Lipsticks. Like always, I have gone on with my Ava Anderson lip scrub to exfoliate my lips before my makeup, and then I went on with my Kaplan MD Lip 20 Balm to moisturize my lips while I was doing my makeup. Now I'm just going to remove the excess. This is in the color Raven, by the way. Lip liner that matches it the best is Max Ruby Woo. So now I'm just going to line my lips. Okay, zoomed in for application. This is going to be a first impressions for me because I've just swatched it on the back of my hand. These don't smell good. They have a very faint chemical smell. They don't smell good like cake or something. The applicator on this is um, long like the Stila or those Kylie Jenner ones. If you see here, um, the whole little kit is fairly small. There we go, application is done. It's not streaky in the least bit. I would compare this to, I know I use Stila as a comparison because that is a widely known brand. I would call this a thinner Stila Stay All Day formula because it is it does go on in kind of like a really thin mousse formula. I am going to go on with my um, Bare Minerals Naked or Bare Skin Concealer on my MAC 195 brush and just crisp up the lines. The drill is the same, guys. I'm going to give this a total of eight hours of undisturbed wear. I will not apply a gloss. I will not retouch this lipstick. I will go about my daily activities. I will do my first check-in in four hours and then the last check-in in the additional four hours. Like always in my first check-in, I will give you guys all the details, the cost, the weight, all of that good stuff. At the end of this video, I will sh do the kiss test to show if they are transfer proof and I will also show if they layer well depending on where they've worn away. It's currently 11.08, I will see you guys in four hours. Hey guys, so it's 3.16, a little more than four hours after initial application of this lipstick. This has remained super, super comfortable on my lips. I am so pleasantly surprised. Honestly, out of every liquid lipstick that I have put on my lips, this has been the most comfortable. It feels very moisturizing, which tells me it's likely going to transfer when I do the kiss test but we will see. Over here where I kind of messed up my cleaning up my line, you can see it's worn away a little there, but I was also wiping that off. So far, I'm really impressed with these. I do want to note, um, I just hopped online to read some of the reviews to see what other people had to say, um, because it is very difficult, guys, when I buy these to test out, I only buy one color to try. 99% of the time, I don't hear anything about them before I buy them, so I just picked one of these up when I was in Sephora because one of you ladies asked me to. So when I just went online to see the available shades and everything for the info, I did hop on Sephora and read some of the reviews, and some people said that the color icon, which I'll talk about in a minute, was really streaky out of all of them, and one person said that these were super drying, which tells me that's probably someone that has never worn a liquid lipstick because I would never describe these as drying. So now let's get into some of the details on these guys. Obviously this is made by the company Hourglass, which is a pretty known kind of luxury makeup line. I picked this up in Sephora, but I did go online and check their website. You can also order off of the Hourglass website. I have a severe Sephora problem, so I do get free two-day shipping. I think it depends on where you are. I'm not quite sure how the rest of the Sephora shipping works, just because I've had a Sephora addiction for a long time, so I haven't paid for Sephora shipping in probably, I don't know, three, four years, so I'm not quite sure how that works. On the Hourglass website, it does say that they offer free US shipping with an order of $50 or more. They do offer international shipping. I will link the page below because you have to fill out where you are and a few other things depending on what the shipping would be. The cost of these is $28, which is extremely high for a liquid lipstick, especially if you look at it next to um, a typical liquid lipstick. It's super small, but you're actually getting the same amount of product in here as almost like an Anastasia Beverly Hills. I did not pay um, shipping on this, obviously, because I picked it up in store and I bought quite a few things at the time, so I'm not quite sure what the taxes were on this, but in California, I think we're at eight and a half percent. 
or eight and a quarter, I'm not quite sure. I do like that the Hourglass website takes PayPal and credit cards. I do think for international shipping, I read in the fine print that you have to go through like one of their third party and they take all major credit cards. I'm not sure if you can use PayPal. Obviously, if you order from Sephora, they need to bill you immediately with a card, or you can just pick it up in store. So this is the packaging that it comes in. It's, um, if you've ever seen any of the hourglass lipsticks and stuff, or the lip glosses, they come in the same kind of like flattened out tube. They kind of look like a canoe or like a, I don't, I don't know. I'm floundering here. Um, it looks super tiny. And this is the applicator. The box that it came in was this typical hourglass box, the same kind of packaging that any of their ambient lighting powders or blushes come in. It does say on the box that these are made in the USA and also that you are getting 0.1 ounce of product in here, which the Anastasia Beverly Hills is 0.11 fluid ounces, I believe. So this you're getting on par with that. There is a jar with the open symbol showing that this has a 12 month shelf life from date of opening. I don't have any order or shipping information because again, I did pick this up in store. I did check out their webpage though. If you do order online, it appears that they will be shipping out of Inglewood, California, which is down towards the LA area. The shade selection. They currently only offer nine shades in these, ranging from most of the time everyday colors to like a few um, brighter reds. Hourglass is known for their um, natural approach to makeup. I don't ever see the day that they're going to have neon purples or blues. So with the nine regular shades, even though this looks so tiny, this is the normal size. They do have two available shades in their travel minis, which is Icon, which is a true red, and Canvas, which is a dusty rose. I'm assuming that those are their two most popular colors, so you can just toss it in. I can't imagine what one that's smaller than this looks like. I think those are only available online. They do claim that these are vegan. Guys, I wanna read to you off of the Hourglass website what these claims are, um, just so I make sure I don't miss anything. It says, this is a densely pigmented, silky smooth and lightweight formula, glides on without tackiness and sets to a modern matte finish. Modern matte finish, okay. It says opaque coverage creates bold, vibrant, and dramatic looking lips. It says contains a breathable film of intense pigment that instantly bonds to the lips and treats them with skin conditioning, emollients, fruit extracts, and vitamins. It says silly fruit, goji berry extracts offer antioxidant protection. Vitamins A, C, and E nourish and protect the lips throughout the day. Custom doe foot applicator allows for precision application. And it says apply a gloss over the top to create a long lasting luminous finish. Okay then. I would completely agree with everything they say, excluding the lip gloss part because I don't like to put a lip gloss over my liquid matte lipsticks because that seems to defeat the purpose for me. If I would imagine this would layer gorgeously with a lip gloss on top because it really has like melted into my lips. It doesn't look like a, a really thick border around it. And where I was originally describing this color as more of a cool toned, bright red, I would actually describe this more as an orange red now that it is completely dried down. I did just go get my nails done and this is our number one selling color for China Glaze. It's called Ruby Pumps and this is a true red glitter and you can see the difference next to my lips that this is way more orange. Now let's touch on some of the ingredients. What's in here, we have some solvents some moisturizers, some emollients, some thickening agents, emulsifiers, antioxidants, moisturizers, more fragrance, plant extracts, astringents, pigments, and sunscreen. Well, titanium dioxide functions as a pigment or a sunscreen. Nothing in here to cause me any concern for putting it on my lips. So that's pretty much all I have to say about these guys. Um, I'm trying to pre-record a few videos because come the holiday season, Keegan and I head up to Tahoe uh, during the winter, we love to snowboard, and so we try to do that a lot on the weekends. Um, with Christmas coming up, we typically go up there for about a week. So I'm trying to pre-record videos for you guys now so I can have some videos to post for you guys during the time that I'm gone. Today is Wednesday. I am on my way to pick up Janine after school. We have volleyball tryouts today. I will see you guys in another four hours. Hey guys, it's 7.23, eight hours after initial application of this lipstick. These have remained super comfortable to wear. This last about half hour, I have gotten a little dry. 
to the point where I'm doing a little bit of a lick, but these have remained. There's still a tacky feeling kind of to them, like ever so slightly my lips will kind of stick together, but that's what's making these so comfortable. When I zoom in to show you the wear, I ate cream of broccoli soup in this. Granted, I was kind of eating like, <laughs> I was in Panera Bread probably looking like a crazy person. I don't really care. Um, I, again, I mean, it's soup. Obviously, my lips had to be on the spoon. I was trying not to like sop the soup all over my face, but that's what I ate. And I also had a passion iced tea through a straw. Do you see it's wearing away now on this inside part? I mean, not that much wear though. I'm actually shocked that I've never heard anybody talk about these. Um, I only got that one request by, I cannot remember who. It's gonna drive me crazy. I'm sure one of you will remind me. As always, how I rank these is going to be determined on the kiss test and how they layer. So nothing on the back of my hands. Lots of transfer. I knew that was gonna happen because they are tacky. Now let's see how they layer. Okay, these layered perfect. I now need every single one of these. I find the formula very unique, super comfortable to wear, Although I did get this transfer, you can see on the outside of my lips. Again, I think where it didn't wear away while I was eating. I'm gonna rank these at number 11 and bump everything Beauty Bar Baby and down. Um, Beauty Bar Baby did have some transfer for me as well and I do adore those colors. This formula is so comfortable though. Beauty Bar Baby did get dry in some areas. I love, I love this formula. I mean, it's super comfortable. For those of you that aren't a liquid matte lipstick fan because they're so drying, these will be amazing for you. They are pricey though. Besides the Kylie Jenner lip kits now, these are the second most expensive. But I think the reason for that is because they have expensive lip conditioners and oils in here to really keep your lips hydrated. The, the applicator isn't my favorite because it is longer so it takes a little getting used to um, but it does put it on very nice it the, these are super deceiving it looks like you're getting like no product for the cost it probably would have been a better idea to make them a little longer but you are getting almost what you get with Anastasia Beverly Hills in these as you guys can see these are in my green zone I will get every single color they have now of these that's how much I like these and actually the small size is convenient for throwing in your purse or even sliding in your pocket if you're going out I'm really impressed with the way these held up again since they are tacky that's what's keeping the moisture in your lips but it's also what's causing this to transfer Again, I do want to make note that I can only ever speak to the colors that I have tried. I know, you know, different colors perform differently sometimes. Again, like I mentioned, I read on the website that Icon goes on streaky, but again, just watch things for yourself. I think body chemistry must come into play somewhere along the lines there for different colors. Do you think that that has to do with the wear, not so much the streaky application? So go to the store and swatch them and see which colors you like, and I would definitely not hesitate to recommend, especially this color, which is Raven. I am happy with my purchase. I will pick up the rest of these after I'm done with the liquid lipstick review series or I'll be lipstick poor. I hope you guys found this review helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time, guys. Bye. <laughs>